yeah, I wanted to make this video for you to show what it is, um, how it is you want to accomplish uh, what it is you're asking for. Um, so we have in here two creatives that we, I made real quick. One was a home page and one is page one. I'm going to go in here and edit and I've got a touch overlay over the, the corner like you're asking. And we tell it what we want the touch to do. So we're, we're going to have it go to a creative and what we want it to do is we want it to launch page one, which is the page with the different buttons to launch different web pages. So we'll create that and tell it to go to creative and we'll open up page one. And we've did a touch widget here. We've done kind of the same thing. We want to go to a creative. We want to have it go back to the home page. And then down here, we've created different, uh, uh, we want to select here where it says we can do go to your creative. It's, we can change things in a slideshow, but in this case, we want to launch a web page. So we select a web page. We enter the URL of the web page. And then we have an auto close feature, which is how long the page will stay open without any interaction with it. So as long as somebody's interacting with the page, it will stay open. If not, then after, after the amount of time here, it will close. Um, on this one, we've actually used the title bar and we can say close, which will open up the web page, which will have a title bar across the top that a person can click on and it will close the web page. So that's the first part. We do the creatives that we wanted to and we connect them through this way. The next part actually has to be done in the playlist. So in the playlist, we need to add all of the creatives that we want to be on the sign, whether you know whether it's the home page or any page that we want to connect to. And what we would do on this one is we're going to schedule it. So what we're going to do here is on this one, we're going to select down here at the bottom. We want to select events, play only on events. And we're going to say touch widget event. So what happens is now only when somebody touches the part that says to call this creative up will this slide show. And that's by setting these three, the events, play only on events and touch widget events. And then on this one, we also want to do the same that we don't want to say play only on it. So we simply want to say events and touch widget events so that we can call the home page back up from other pages. So we just don't say play only on events. So then we add that playlist to a screen. So we have it on a screen. And then we load the screen up on our player. So we have the screen here. So now if somebody touches up here, it opens up our other page. And then we can go back by hitting home. And it'll take us back and forth. Um, this one, if we click on the web page, it will open up the web page. And then if we don't interact with it in seven seconds, it will take it back. There we go. Um, takes us back to the home page. So we wanted to go, we're going to select web page three. This is the one that has the title bar across the top. As you can see, we have a title bar across the top that says close. So we'll wait here for a moment as the page loads up. So now we, we so it'll load up the page and we can hit close and it will take us back. So we hit close, it will take us back to the home page. But that's how you would accomplish what is the, what you're trying to do. Just wanted to give you the short video. Um, hopefully this helps. If not, you can uh, email back and hopefully we can get your questions answered. Okay, thank you.